but he still has a ton of chips. Taking control, we'll be back for more on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. I know that you are mostly an online player. Yeah, I, I looked most, you up. Mm -hmm. You've won a lot of money. I mostly <laughs> play uh, heads up singles online, yeah. You're a heads up specialist. I guess. So yeah. hopefully you'll get heads up and then we won't even have to worry about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll probably get heads up and then get crushed. It's probably what's gonna happen. We are back at Pagata for the World Poker Tour. We are in the heads up battle right now. A lot up for grabs. The winner gonna walk away with close to a million dollars here tonight. And Jeremy Brown, the accountant from New York, out in front right there with 27 million. Olivia Bousquet with 3.3 million in chips. The heads up specialist, first to act here right now. Can he come back here tonight? He's got a queen, eight of diamonds in his hand. Olivier, a Cornell graduate, a philosophy major. Olivier's with the button. Now he's just going to call it with a queen, eight of diamonds. Good check. Well, first time we've seen this play, Olympian. And Jeremy, not going to raise with a king, four of spades. Now here comes a flop. Nine, five, three, no help to either player. Now Jeremy checks, and the aggressive instincts of Olivier take over as he fires out 250,000. You know, he's picking the wrong spot. It's 500. Shakes his head and raises. Well, unbelievable. Now here he's acting weak, and he really is weak, Vance. He comes over the top with a raise, a min raise, as we say, a minimum raise, up to 500,000. Well, it shows him the king four spade. Oh. Doesn't phase Olivier. He's actually showing him the best hand, but... He's just showing him he's capable of making a move once in a while, I guess. Yep, mixing up his acting job. And to this hand we go, Olivia picking up a pair of ladies, pair of queens. Well, right now, Olivier looks down at two queens, and he's hoping this Penn State grad will raise him this time, I promise you. See what he's going to do now. He limped in. That didn't work. Now he's going to double the size of the blind. I really hope we can dance right now. This is the minimum raise you can make, 480000 I call. Jeremy, who has a 9-7 of diamonds, is going to bite. Makes the call. I checked it better. Jeremy checking in the blind. Most all poker pros would make the call with a 9-7 of diamonds. Here comes the flop. Well, it's come 6-5-3. Gives Jeremy a two-way straight draw, as we say, but the two queens of Olivier, the best hand, and he's betting 400,000. Just, just 400? Well, he says just 400 because there's over a million in the pot when he bet the 400,000. When in Rome. Jeremy knows it's suspicious, but he has a big drawing here. So Jeremy has made the call now. A diamond comes off. I check to the better. This gives Jeremy a flush draw as well as his two-way straight draw. Anybody's going to check. Nevertheless, now it's on Olivier. He got the overpair. Yeah, there's 1.8 million in the pot. Oh. He's got a little bit more than that left. It moves all in. Mm, good bet. How much is it? Well, it looks to me like a close to two million. Ah, this sucks. He's <clears throat> going into the standing think mode right now. That a huge draw right now, dude. Monster draw. Sure does have a big draw. Pop your ass right now. As the cards lie, Olivier over a two to one favorite to win this pot. Holy. You have a big draw and you're thinking about folding? He's got the two-way straight draw and the flush draw. <laughs> what are you trying to get me to fold now? It's like a 20th year stack. Why wouldn't you just call it? What, do you have draw? a 3-5? <laughs> no, I don't. You promise? Yeah, you're not dead. I promise. I promise you're not dead. Are you sure? Yeah, you're not dead. He's telling me he's not dead. He wants him to make this call, Vince. Two overs, two straight draws, flush draw. Oh, what? God. How could you even fold that hand? I call you. Oh. And he's getting called. So he's getting his wish. Now let's see if it backfires on him or not. If Jeremy catches an eight, a four, or a diamond, he'll be our champion. Otherwise, Olivier will double up. You talked me into it. Yes, he did, just like you talked in another opponent early on. It happens at this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if it works or not. Well, the ace of clubs comes off. So Olivier reels him into the pot, and he doubles up because of it. Nicely done. He's pecking his way back. 
You talked me into that. I should have folded that. Exciting, bizarre like action break, continuing. I need a bathroom break, so I'll take it. Stay tuned. We'll cover back with more action in just a moment. I'll take it, please. Play at the top of your game. Text PRO TIP to 46966 to get a poker tip from the WPT Pros and enter to win $1,000 and a WPT prize bag. Jeremy's a tough player. He's really aggressive and he's willing to make some big calls. My goal against him is hopefully to have a pretty decent hand and I expect him to pay me off if I do. I also think that he's capable of uh, getting frustrated and making a mistake. But I think that if we play long enough, I might be able to catch him in a spot where he makes a mistake. We are back here at Atlantic City for the Brigada Poker Open. Heads up action continues, and the Annies are going up to 30,000. The blinds will be 150 and 300,000. Well, even though Olivier has doubled up twice, they're still right back where they started when this heads up match began, where Jeremy has about a four to one chip lead. And Olivier says, I just hope to stick around so that this Jeremy can make a mistake. Let's see if it'll happen. Action going to Jeremy Brown, the accountant out of New York. He's got a 10 4. Well, in my view, here's a mistake, Vince. He's making a minimum raise with this garbage hand. Virtually, his opponent's priced in to call 300,000 more with any two cards that he has. And I say, if you're going to raise it with a junk hand, make a big raise where your opponent might get out of the pot. But that wouldn't happen in this case because Olivier has picked up ace king. But still, a very peculiar raise in my mind to raise it a minimum amount with such a junk hand. Well, Olivier's got a big hand, ace king. And he's got some decisions to make here. Push it now. Play it coy and just call. We will see. Well, a lot of top players say an ace king is still a drawing hand. You got to catch something to really have something. So. I'll be shocked if he doesn't raise it here. And indeed, he does raise it to 1.7 million. Ouch. That's why I hate this minimum raise with this garbage hand of a 10-4 offsuit. And the accountant cannot like those odds. Now, will he make this call? What do you have behind you? What do you have behind, he's saying. About 4 million. 4 behind you still? You're going to see it all in there in case you raise it here, Jeremy. I can tell you that. Two New Yorkers with a chance of a lifetime paddling wits right now. You want to dance right now? We can do it. I, I don't want to see you guys dance right now, personally. <laughs> but maybe you could just fold the hand and move on. Oh, boy. <laughs> no? He's trying to get him to talk. Olivia would like to dance right now, I can tell you that. Not on the dance floor, though, on the green felt. All right, we'll save the last dance for another time. Oh, boy, he worked on those stale lines, but nevertheless makes the right decision, gets out of the way. And right now, Olivia's girlfriend, Lorelei, will be talking to us in the audience. He seems to work very well under pressure. You know, he's sort of like the comeback kid, so I'm not worried about it. You know, he's down a little bit, but as you know, things can change very quickly. Well, Lorelai, very confident in her man there. Yeah, she definitely believes in him. And I'll tell you, he looks confident playing heads up, even though Jeremy's got the big chip lead. He was down to only 1.5 million at one time in this heads up battle. He's battled back. But this hand, Jeremy Brown has a jack eight and the button. Sounds good. And he's going to raise. Well, he's made it 750,000 to go. Remember, blinds are 150 and 300,000, so it's going to cost Olivier 450,000 to make the call, and he does so with the 10 9. Okay, here comes the flop. Oh, what a flop! Wow, look at this. Olivier has flopped the nuts, top straight. He's got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No hand can beat him right now. Action's on Olivier. And Jeremy with the top pair of eights. This could spell a little trouble for him. All in. What? All in. And he's leading out in betting, Vance, not checking the nuts. And quickly all in by Jeremy Brown. And Olivia quickly called, of course. Unbelievable. And Vance, believe it or not, I don't really fault Jeremy for making this play. You just can't expect your opponent's going to flop a straight and then lead right out and bet into you. You think you might have something like a 7-9, a pair with a straight draw, something like that. But right now, he's going to have to hit two runners to stay alive. Well, there's one of them. A jack comes off. Jeremy can catch a jack or an eight. 
Sid Sweat. And this tournament will be history. That was really an interesting card. The hope is still alive of knocking out Olivier Pousquet. We will see. We're going down to the river. Well, it's a seven. So Olivier has done it again. He has doubled up. And Vince, you can sir, feel the momentum changing in this match. I can tell you that. A minute ago, this guy had a 19 to 1 chip lead over him. Now it's less than 2 to 1. Jesus. The match will continue. Jeremy Brown taking his lumps right now. He's taking it back. He's guzzling more beer. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go again. Ace King again for Olivier. Well, right now, Olivier is catching cards, as we say. Couldn't come at a better time for him. He's going to raise it the minimum to 600,000. Jeremy with a quick, frustrated call with Queen Deuce of Clubs. Well, you can't blame him for calling with that, but it's come Ace, King, Six. Top two for Olivier. My girl. And Jeremy Brown now, first to act, caught nothing on that flop. I checked it better. He's going to check it. Now, do you play it slow? No, not as do Olivier. Come out and bet. That's 800,000. I raise. Oh, no. He's imploding before our very eyes. And the accountant's going to raise with nothing. 2.4. Oh, 2.4 million he makes it. Oh, wow. Should have cut off Dean Martin a few drinks ago. Well, he's raised at 1.6 million. That play is not going to work here against the top two pair. And look at this. This is a very calculated re-raise. It's exactly 1.6 million more. In other words, Olivier made the minimum raise possible in this situation to try to lure his opponent to keep coming. And Jeremy cannot like this right now. Sometimes you've got to realize when the jig is up, you took your shot, bad timing, misread, move on. Three million more. But he's no. going to re-raise, Vince. Oh, no. Can you believe this? On top of the 1.6. Yeah. He's raising at 3 million more on top of the 1.6. This is the train wreck off the mountain cliff in slow-mo. I mean, Vince, he's got no hand and no draw. Even if he had queen jack in this, at least he could catch a 10 to make it straight. Here he's got to hit two running deuces, two running queens, or a running jack 10, but he's never going to get that opportunity because Olivier is going to go all in right here to shut him out of this pot. Unbelievable. Jeremy Brown really misstepping it on this hand here. Yeah, this is a charity play, and finally mucks his hand. Well, that's Olivier predicted that this guy would make a mistake. We've seen it happen. Olivier Bousquet is now our new chip leader. The wheels have come off with Jeremy Brown. Stay with us. We're coming back with more heads up action on the World Poker Tour. I got myself into trouble when I was in college. I was a degenerate. Dance, brother. I started playing poker. I started reading a lot of books and aggressively pursuing playing more and more tournaments and doing well. So I figured I'm going to keep it more to the poker side. But I do like to gamble. That's why I'm, I'm willing to get the chips in, in the middle if we have to. Welcome back to Borgata in Atlantic City for the final table of the multi-million dollar Borgata Poker Open. So much money on the line, as well as a WPT title right here from the Jersey Shore. Let's check the chip count and then go back to the game. So for the first time tonight in this heads-up battle, Olivier Bousquet has the chip lead. He's got nearly 18.6 million. Jeremy Brown with 12 million. Yeah, that is true. And the antis and blinds are going up. $40,000 antis. Blinds will be 200 and 400,000. To the table we go. Action on Jeremy Brown. 800. He's got king queen this time. He's going to raise. Well, again, the minimum raise makes it 800,000. Olivier with a king nine is quickly called. And now flop comes queen 10 nine. Great flop for Jeremy here. He's out in front with the two queens. They both have the same straight draw. Olivier has bottom pair. Check. Yep, Olivier checks. 800. Now Jeremy is going to bet his top pair. He's bet 800,000 and he's called by Olivier. I think he's getting called here, Vince, because not only the bottom pair, but the straight draw. And Olivier knows this guy's been on tilt. Both players now have two pairs. Jeremy out in front. 
check. Olivier checks. Both players, of course, fearful that their opponent has a jack in their hand, which would give them a straight. And Jeremy behind him has checked it. And a queen 